God bless y'all. I know it's dark and I'm sorry, but I had to share some of this overflow. Tonight was the second night of the Women Ministering to Women Conference. And my goodness, our Father is so awesome. I'm telling you, I came to this thing tonight. I was like sleepwalking. Like, it's just been a lot going on. I could barely, you know, just get to this thing. And I'm just like I'm praying for endurance. My pastor's wife is praying for endurance for me because... You know, just so I could make it through the night because I was helping with the event to take some pictures. And, you know, I, honestly, I, I didn't think I was going to make it the whole night because when I'm tired, ooh, I'm like a little bit messy. I'm like, nobody talk to me. <laughs> like, I got to go home and go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? But praise the Lord. My God, filled me up. Fill me up with this overflow that I'm trying to send you some fire. But you know what I want to talk to you about is, is this fire, this fire. We need to be able to let him fan our own flames every single day, believers, believers, because you know what? He's raising up an army. Hallelujah. He is raising up an army. He is doing something new in every believer. I don't care if you've known the Lord since you were little, if you just met him yesterday, he's got something new for you. Why? Because this world is seeing time signs that it has never seen, nor will it ever see again. What's coming to this world is going to require that the body of Christ has been prepared and set like boots on the ground ready to go in obedience hallelujah but that takes walking in righteousness prior we can't expect that for times to come we're automatically going to be ready it's not going to happen it's not going to happen remember we talked about Noah and the ark the other day and Noah was living in righteousness before the Lord warned him right the Lord didn't even see fit to warn the unbelievers, right? Those who were living in willing sin, the Lord didn't even let them know about nothing. Neither did Noah. But he told Noah, look, you're righteous before my eyes. So I'm going to let you know what's coming. And I want you to do this and this. And though, though the Lord would never send a flood again, hallelujah, something is coming to this earth to this world. This is a spiritual war, right? Ephesians 6, 12. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual principalities, wickedness in high places. It's here, brethren. It's here, kingdom people, believers. It's here. And if anybody thinks they're going to do it themselves, they're wrong. You know, I ain't never been like a big church person, but I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you, we need the body of Christ. We need, I don't know why I didn't think to do that before. We need the body of Christ. We cannot be amputees out here thinking that we're going to do this walk alone. We can't. We can't. And you know what? When we're in the full fire of the Holy Spirit, the truth is we don't want to. The truth is when we're in the Holy Spirit, we want to be with his believers. And I testify to that because I've never been, I've been kind of like an introvert. Like my, I, you know, I'm a musician, but even so. I, I've, I get stage fright, you know what I'm saying? Like the Lord's given me gifts, but it was never like my big intention to go out and be in front of everyone. That's not me. But you know what? As soon as I was in the Holy Spirit, ooh, I couldn't wait to go to church. I couldn't wait to be with his people. I couldn't wait to be with his body because the body of Christ is what? The body of Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? That's him. You know, we can't have fullness in Christ without his body. We are bodies. You know, he's given us these tactile suits like we were talking about the other day. You know what I'm saying? We're made in his image. God is spirit. We are spirit. But he's given us these, you know, these bodies and we need each other. We need each other. We need them to lay hands. We need to lay hands. We need their encouragement. We need their love. We need the love of his body because you know what? The love of Christ himself comes through these believers. Like I said, tonight I went and I was a bit weary, but I'll tell you what. My sisters done built me up, hallelujah. And that's why I'm sharing this, not just with my sisters, but with my brothers too, to let y'all know that it's time. It's time. You know, the Lord is raising up an army, hallelujah. But that means we must fall in line with every word of God. We must fall in line with every word of God. If you haven't been baptized yet, I need you to get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, full immersion, okay? Jesus was baptized full immersion. That's how you're going to get baptized because the word of God commands us to. Don't wait. If you were baptized when you were a baby, I'm sorry, but you weren't baptized, my brother and my sister. Do it again. Do it the right way. Do it by the word of God. Hallelujah. I love you guys enough to tell you the truth and I need y'all to love the Lord enough to follow the truth. And then I need you to love everybody else enough around you because we're called to put other people before ourselves. I need you to tell them the truth too because you know what? The Lord has given us all giftings, hallelujah. And that's not because anybody's special or better than anybody else because they're not. What he's put in you is not in me. What he's put in me is not in you, hallelujah. He's put these things in us for the glory of God that we would go out and save souls. It's time. It's time to do this thing. Let's be about our father's business, hallelujah. It is time. You were born for a time such as this. He strategically placed you, believer. You're where you need to be for him to use you. Let him prepare you because we all need to be prepared. 
Stay in your word daily. Worship in truth and spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. Get baptized. Do the things you need to do. Take your steps like dun, 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 dun. And he got you. Let's pray for the inside stuff. Because you know what? The outside stuff is coming already. He said, focus first on the kingdom of my righteousness. The kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto us. We don't have to worry about these tangible things out here. He's got that. But he's got some other work for us to do. He's got something new for you, church. He's got something new for everybody because this world is seeing times it has never seen before, nor will it ever see again. And this ain't new to the Lord because he is the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. But these times are new to us. So he's putting something new in us. Hallelujah. And I need you to be willing because he gave us that free will for a reason, right? That we'd return it back to him. I love you guys so much. God bless you. God bless you on your walks. God bless you on your journeys. Take one day at a time. Repent daily. Humble yourself because we ain't never want to be humbled by God, right? You're needed. You're needed, boots on the ground. You're needed. You're needed. What you have, nobody else does. You're needed. The Lord calls you. The Lord says, stand up. The Lord says, let's go. I'm moving. And he is. Are we moving with him, church? I love you so much. God bless.